What's poppin' is Enzo McFly. It's your girl, your car keys, I am. She what it do, man. This your boy, ESG. What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Angry here. It's your boy, Mikey Iso. What's up? It's your girl, Desiree Simone. Hit 22 Radio, man. Y'all know what's going down. The biggest blood in America. Hey, man, you already know who it is. DJ Me What's going on, man? It's comedian Jeff Shelley. What's good, words? Show me DJ Shows. Say, man, it's Wapi Puerto Rico, man. Baby boy, baby girl. It's your girl, Vita Mona with Catch What's up, Houston? It's your boy, Quay. I just wrapped a dope ass interview with Catch 22. Hi, guys. My name is Brittany Washington. I'm here at Catch 22. Just did an amazing interview. You can catch me at www.brittany, B R I T T A N I, Washington.com. I'm on Instagram, Brittany Washington. I'm going on tour March 27th through April 5th in Germany. Stay tuned. I love you guys. Be blessed. You're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 radio show on 92kills.com. C E A T K I N G. B D D to the E N T to the E N D till I D I E. Yo, B King got a new uh, project coming out. What is it called? Club God 6. What happened to Club God 1? Oh, 5. I <laughs> It's I a think series. Five was the last one. It's it's a series. I, five thought, was the one I, I thought he had Astro one, two, and three. Five uh, Club God came out before six. So he got two different mixtape series. <laughs> yeah. He got Club God one and two, and then he went to six. But uh-uh. but what he said he had Astro before Travis did. He did. So. He, he got like you said he got two. All right. Series. Okay. I'm All right. Shout out to B King. Gangsta stripper music. Oh yeah, I remember that. Is there one, two, or three of that? Uh huh. How many albums B King got? <laughs> <laughs> Too many. A lot. <laughs> All right, y'all. We have a special guest in the building, and she has been kicking it with us. And y'all probably heard her talking earlier. <laughs> oh, it was so good. She was like, "I'm not gonna sit here and not say nothing." What? I love her enthusiasm. Dang. Now, I don't want to... I was going to call you Brittany until you introduce yourself outside. What she said? She said Brittany. Brittany. I didn't make it up. You that's definitely your, no, did. That's your birth name? That's your name name. No, no, no. Spell oh. it. B-R-I-T-T-A-N-I. That's Brittany. That's Brittany. That's Brittany. Now, my little sister name is Brittany. What? <laughs> <laughs> your, your parents like that. B-R-I-T-N-E-Y. See, my sister's name is Brittany, and it's B-R-I-T-A-N-Y. Hey, man. If I, my name was Brittany, I'd be Brittany, too. Hey. You'd be Brittany, too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you look like you named me Brittany. I can't yeah. like figure out another name for myself. My name is Brian. How can I pronounce it differently? Brian. Nah, Brian. I call him that. Brian. <laughs> Brian. What are you doing, Brittany? I'm good, girl. It's good to be in the service. So, yeah. just kind of give people a background of who you are. So basically, I am a hippie that went on tour with Beyonce uh-huh. uh, for seven years, and I played keys for her, did some background vocals for some shows. Um, after that, I came back to my hometown uh, to finish my degree and my alumni at Texas Southern University. Ooh. Sorry, PD. <laughs> um, and then after that, I was like, okay, well, now I want to play drums. So I started um, playing drums for CeeLo Green. Wow. Until, so, Wait, we yeah. got a lot of questions because you can't just sit there and say, okay, well, I did this for Beyonce. Right. Then I came back with the school. Then I just played drums for yeah, CeeLo. I mean, we need to go back. So how did you end up meeting Beyonce? How did that even come into happened. fruition? Yeah. So basically, um, I'm a loner. And I just, you know, I mind my business, but I <laughs> I was playing at a club on Montrose called the Sky Bar. I don't know if y'all will, I stay off of that. Montrose. I mean, okay, okay. <laughs> Do you live off of Montrose or stay I off? Stay, stay off, off I stay don't off. Stay away way. from it. Yeah. You won't be in the video then. Am I all me? You you definitely oh. definitely not think off Montrose. <laughs> <laughs> Drew, you got to twerk uh-huh. one time. No. <laughs> so there was a percussionist there that played on the nights that I wasn't playing there, and she called me one day out of the blue. She was like, "Hey, um, Beyonce's having auditions, and I heard about you, and I someone told me you play keyboards, and I think you would be great on this uh, for this audition." Right. And that was like at twelve midnight the next morning. I literally woke up and. Um, Went to the audition. We had to learn Work It Out from uh, Austin Powers Gold member. Mm-hmm. And when I got there, it was like just so many women just trying yeah. to make it in life. And I was like, whoa, this is really serious. Like, I just was informed of this 
audition last night, but they were ready. They had their sheet music and their church dresses. <laughs> and I looked like... <laughs> I look real raunchy. I had like this long ponytail. I just tell people I look like the Black Madonna. And I was like, well, I'm here now. I might as well rock it. Hey, right. y'all. So I got there and they were like, um, well, you could just play anything. Really not paying attention to me because I was just really kind of like bubbly and just really looked like I was out of place. Right. So I went there and so I started playing um, a song by Sly and the Family Stone. Uh, called If You Want Me to Stay, I'll be around the way. Right, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was my audition song, and they really liked it. And uh, a week later, everyone thought I didn't make the band. They were like trying to not ask me about it because nobody called me, yeah. nobody said anything. But I wasn't tripping because honestly, I knew I did a good job. Uh-huh. That's dope. So they called me at 2:30 a.m. on a Thursday, and they were like, "Hey, we, we need you to catch your flight in four hours. Wow, so come to New York and audition." When I got to New York, uh, I went to sleep. I woke up. I went to a studio. Uh, I think SIR at like 10 a.m. And uh, the way they were doing it, you get on your instrument and they were like switching out girls to see how it looks. Like, oh, how do you look by her? How do you sound with this person? But I literally stayed in that room auditioning with maybe like, man, hundreds and a lot of girls. Mm -hmm. Like some of them didn't even play. They just kind of stood there. Mm -hmm. But I didn't leave there. I was in that room for 12 hours. Ooh. So I stayed there watching everybody get switched out. So y'all, out. like your, your hands didn't cramp or nothing? Nah, man. You when you want bananas. something, you, you don't feel the going. pain. You know what I'm saying? What hands? You just keep on going. I'll be like, all right, Beyonce, you got this one. <laughs> <laughs> you got my you got, All right, you look. You got my brine. Look, the first six hours, she should have told you something. Right. Exactly. Okay. She. I mean, she was in there. And she was checking it out. And, you know, um... I just saw a lot of different, coming from a small town, Port Arthur, Texas, you don't see a lot of female musicians. Right. So just seeing them was like, oh my God, like this is something really new. And um, I remember telling, I believe, Alan, who was the tour manager at the time, hey, I got to go outside and call my dad because he don't even know I'm here. (laughs) You think you can hold it off for me? Like, I just got to go outside and call my dad. My dad's a pastor. So, first of all, I had to tell you, hey, I'm not coming to church Sunday. Oh, what do you say like, about that? What do you mean? You're not, you, what, what's going on? When y'all were going to tell me this, I can't believe y'all held this from me. It's a secret. I was like, no, this literally happened. It just happened. In that. one day. Right. Like, I've never traveled before. I've never been to a concert. This right. is my first life experience. That's so crazy. people were, when you asked me what college, I'm like, Beyonce University. Right. Like, I'm straight <laughs> out of high school. Like, I'm here. But yeah, that experience was wild. Wow. I ended up going there and I ended up coming home six years later. <laughs> Literally, I mean, really? we came to visit home, but I went on tour. We right. did the BET Awards a week after I made that. Didn't so, wow. question. so do you think being from Texas helped you in that situation with her being from here? Or no? She didn't Not know. At all. She didn't know. And I mean, she didn't now, care. Now, if you suck and you're from Texas... You, you out of there. Yeah. <laughs> so how long were you playing, like, the piano before you decided, like, you wanted to, like, pursue it musically? Honestly, um, I never decided that I wanted to pursue playing the piano. It right. was always something that was decided for me. Mm-hmm. Or a girl had bills. That was my craft. That was my skill. But mm-hmm. I always wanted to be an artist, a singer first. So you mm-hmm. played, like, the piano for the children's choir? I played for... Th- No, I played for the church. (laughs) Ain't with no children's (laughs) choir. I wish. I was at church playing for every choir. Wow. (laughs) Yes, choir. Oh, see, so 12 hours was enough for you because if you went to Baptist church, you was playing for 12 hours anyway. Trying to find what key are you singing in. Uh huh. (laughs) Oh, when your daddy start preaching, you got to rev it up for him. Here it comes. It's a whole system to your <laughs> Look, when you start hitting them keys, you I, look. Yes. When I used to be in church, and you see them keys. I was like, oh yeah, it's almost time to go. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's oh, almost it's time to get out of here. Cue music. <laughs> <laughs> you are speaking too long. <laughs> so, what was the pressure like working with Beyonce and CeeLo? Because those are two very huge artists. Man, the pressure was 
For me, it was different because I went into this game trying to be a singer. Uh -huh. I never wanted to just be a musician. Like, that's just something that I, I knew how to do. So I feel like it's awkward for me talking about it because there are people out there It's like, man, all I want to do is get a gig with this person and that person. And honestly, the whole time, I'm looking like, man, how long am I have to play? I'm gonna have to play this keyboard until I'm in the front. I'm trying to sing my own song. Let me get this check real quick though, like to invest in myself so I can sing my own song. I always had that mentality. Like I really appreciate what God has done for me as far as being able to tour the whole world and like mm -hmm. play instruments and do all this stuff. But there's nothing like doing what you want to do. Right. And I'm not not appreciative of it. I am so blessed. But man, I I got goals. Right. right. So, so hey, was there ever a time like when you was on tour that you was like like I'm done I'm about to go home um whoa yeah I mean I can't talk about that but oh, okay. <laughs> it's real deep that's another story that I haven't really figured out how I am going to deliver it to the world mm -hmm. uh, but you know things happen you get in situations and uh, some situation seems like it's unfair or it's not supposed to be happening, but things have to happen so that you can get in the place that you want to be. Right. That's definitely true. Right. So if the things that I experienced when I left that situation never happened, I wouldn't be here with y'all today on Catch 22. Hey. <laughs> so I'm so grateful for all the thing, the bad things that happened to me. Thank you. So, I mean, it was a good look. I... Like I said, I made new friends, I got new family, and everyone is grinding. My my friend Tia, who was also the saxophone player, she just got nominated for a Grammy. She's wow. a jazz okay. artist. My friend Divinity, she's a bass player. She was the bass player for Beyonce. She has her record out. So everyone is like following their dreams. And That's dope. And Beyonce still, gave us a good opportunity. Do you still keep in contact with those people or oh, come yeah. off the tour? I do. Even All B? of them. Um, not really. No, 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 no. And it's not like, it's not like she is cut off. It's just, that's a whole nother level of, oh, I'm moving at a fast pace. I really don't have time to right. like understand that you are, you want to talk about something that happened yesterday. Like right. somebody told me when you, when you quit playing football uh, for a long time, it takes a while to get back into the game of getting hit and getting running. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know the mental state of it, but right. as far as like that whole like, oh, this is what we are used to. No, it's another life now. It's all about my game now. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to go into a mix with DJ Anthrax. And when we come back, we're going to have more with Brittany. Hey. It's Catch 22 <laughs> Radio <laughs> Show. <laughs> Ooh, I feel like I'm, uh, never mind. Uh, we are back. No, 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 go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to hear it. What you, what you feel like, what? I was just saying this song made me feel like I was at a, um, spot. Back at, uh, with the pink panties and the bullet. Yeah, pink panties <laughs> and the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I was. But we're back. Uh, and we talked about something off air, and I wanted to bring it back up so that the, the audience can hear how amazing you are, okay? So let's talk about your story with you only playing in one key <laughs> before the audition, the, the mm -hmm. huge audition that you had. <laughs> so, okay, I would say I was comfortable in one key. I knew how to play in other keys, but... I was being lazy. Uh -huh. My musician friends, y'all know about that transpose button, but right. you can't use transpose <laughs> on a major gig, yo, with people who went to Berkeley music school, Berkeley school, music college, whatever, Tokyo, my, <laughs> all these degrees in music, and I can't come there only playing in C. <laughs> so but I, what if I, they can only sing in C? Nah. I mean, I, I just don't get ranted. It is Beyonce, so she's not yes, just singing in C. Right. But what if you get an artist that's only singing C? That's then cool. you sound like you're good. Hey, there are some out there. I ain't going to say no names, okay. but there are some out there. It, teach his own, but I knew I had to turn up. I knew I had to turn it up. And I knew that the only thing that was holding me back it was slothfulness and laziness. So I just kind of like just made my challenge myself and that whole night man I was sweating hard man it's something like when you make Beyonce's a band uh -huh. you ain't about to go to rehearsal <laughs> you know right. just I'm not prepared. ready right, right. I'm prepared just looking sloppy and these people let me be in their band and you mean I can't just apply myself now right. it's time to turn up girl yeah. come on 
So yeah, I I went to Toys R Us the day I made the band because I really didn't it didn't register to me that I was auditioning for one of the biggest stars in the world. Yeah. Right. I I am a person. If you guys get to know me, I'm not easily excited. Like it takes a lot to excite me. Mm -hmm. If you pay all my bills and then pay them for the rest of the five years down the line, oh, I'm gonna be real excited. Okay, but just okay. like. You know, okay. Just said, okay. Okay, okay. I mean, <laughs> no, <Notice. laughs> I'm just saying that that's something to get excited for. But I never was starstruck because I'm like, man, after this, they just going to their house and I'm going back to my house. Right. So, but I, you know, I learned all the keys. I, I just applied myself and yeah. That's Cassie funny. went to Toys R Us, got a Casio keyboard. Shout out to Casio, man. I stayed on that thing all night, learned everything I was supposed to learn, never used transpose since. That's crazy. <laughs> so That's amazing. now that you are transitioning into a artist yourself, who does Brittany want to be? Oh, uh, man, there's nobody like me. But I know that I have to give y'all somebody. So it would be Justin Timberlake. You know, because Justin Timberlake. white? No, no, no. You a white man? I don't want to be white. I just want to be original. I don't want to be white. I just know everyone's always saying, what What category of music is Justin Timberlake? Is it pop? Is it R&B? Is it hip-hop? I don't know. He's it's in his white own. music. No, it's a, no, 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 no. He crossed all. Oh, bro. Yeah. You ever listen to Justin Timberlake? Y'all thought I didn't listen to my own five either. It's super hard. Hey, you do one I song. Do. Yeah. I do. It's super hard, though. It's like it's no, super no, he's, hard. No, no, he's, he's cool. He's cool. It's hard being a real musician because you have to dumb yourself down so that people who are not musically inclined or musicians mm -hmm. can understand where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. And that's the hardest part about people who are musicians that now want to be an artist. Right. It's like we musically overcomplicate everything. I've mm -hmm. played every genre, every award show. Mm -hmm. I've played Black Girls Rock for eight years now. Wow. For, you know, as a keyboard player, play with a lot of people and everyone has a style and a play and being having Beyonce in my ears for seven years it's like uh, oh you don't want to start sounding like her she already got her audience so no, it's kind of hard to find your voice when you're constantly being celebrated for being with somebody else, else. who sounds yeah. like a certain so you would say that you don't have a genre of music my genre is definitely pop R&B okay yeah. so with pop R&B swinging to more of not love you know, it's more of I'm going to do me, and you do positivity. you. You know what I mean? How to survive. Right. How to survive in another language. Not survive like I'm surviving life struggles, but just internally. How to survive with your mind, your mental sta uh, stability. Like, oh, you just got over a breakup. Man, get your life. Let's go. Come on. Move. It's time to party. Keep the party going. Like, I'm I'd rather be happy, uh, lonely than live life unhappy. Yeah. I just want to incorporate positivity because I hear a lot of like low tones, cheating music, mm -hmm. you know, less mm -hmm. dwelling on the past. It's just nothing is uplifting my spirit right now. And I feel like I need to get on it mm -hmm. and just, you so know. So how many times can your man cheat before you leave? That's a good question. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> my man don't have to cheat if he keep it 100. Like I'm saying. Oh, yes. I like you. So pay the bills and keep it up. <laughs> if I say like Most hey. likely because I'm the kind of girl that you ain't going to want to cheat on. I heard that. So it's kind of uh, like. If, if you look, look. We just said off air that men are men. You just said Men, men so, are men. So if I right. text you and be like, hey, I'm not coming home tonight. You know, but I did pay Charles bills to pay. I left you a little bit before <laughs> you go to the spa. Hey, at, at the end of the day, I am entertaining myself every day. So oh, okay. if you are here, it's because yeah. you have something that I want you that I want to be around. I know that's right. And I don't I'm not needing you to be here. I don't want you to be here. You want to be here. Yeah, hear so it's kind of Ooh. like I'm just saying like I own myself. I own what I think. I own what I do. And I feel like if there's somebody that could say, "Hey man, I don't have this a monogamous life situation together, but you are super cool and dope. All right. I can huh. respect that so can better that than in your trying to expect somebody to be somebody that they're not when I have a hard time changing some of the things about myself. So are you single? I am single. And I Read am... DMs? Man, my DMs are so scary. Like, I'm so scared. <laughs> so I'm I do so have a question. <laughs> I'm so scared of my DMs. I gave my best friend, who's a guy, my password. Uh, no, so, that, so that he can help me 
Because I, I hate being rude to people because you never know what kind of like social groups people are in. Right. Right. They don't know if this is disrespectful or not. They say it to their homeboy all the time. So I right. try to give everybody a clean slate mm -hmm. and, you know, just wait for something bad to happen and so I can react, not just be like, oh, you said I got a fat ass. I really don't have a fat ass. It's just something for you to say. But I so I do have a question because you did say that you have some things that you, you know what I mean? So based on like your last relationship, last actual relationship, what would you think that they would say was your issue within their relationship? Honestly? Okay. I've been thinking about this. Okay. <laughs> somebody asked me. <laughs> no, no, no. Somebody that, asked me. Somebody this. asked me. She thinking like, <laughs> she thinking like, hey, like. <laughs> no, honestly, it's me. It's me because, oh, it's just your phone. It's me because um, I know that I'm going somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I put so much on people. I I expect them to understand this journey. Everybody is not motivated no, like I'm motivated. True. I that's wake true. up in the morning, I go to work. I go to when I before I go to sleep, I make sure all my emails are sent and I'm on it. And right. it's kind of like somebody that is just looking at me to have their babies and cook their meals are not going to understand that. And right. I'm expecting them to understand that because it comes with this package. Like, uh -huh. I'm not a cheater, I'm not a liar. I know how to like submit, I know how to cater to somebody, but man, don't ever tell me to stop working. Right. That's dope. So do you feel like you need to date somebody in this industry or? <sighs> I don't really want to, but I feel like in order for me to have somebody that understands what I need, uh -huh. I have, they have to be doing what, you do. what I'm doing. Yeah. And not music, they just have to have something they're passionate about. Right. And they have to have something they're working towards. Like, people are like, man, you go to church, you're like, yeah, I go to church because not only do I go to church for spiritual reasons, man, the pastor is on his grind, yo. Every Sunday, we got a deadline, we got some kind of quota to meet, we are trying to get this. It's oh, okay. about the energy around you. <laughs> how, how often do you go to church? Every Sunday. Every, You're not going to every, 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 every Sunday. Thursday we have rehearsal and every Sunday when I'm here. So two times a week. Two times. It used to be five times. Oh, no. oh see, my you, parents. Look, that's probably why they left too. <laughs> yeah. she, she always at church. I'm always at the church house. Huh? So, so yeah. do you still go to like your your father's church being a PK? Um, sometimes I go, not a lot. So you're just, not a member. I'm always going to be a member. I think mm -hmm. you born in. Ride or die. Mm -mm. Um, I just, you know, they, it's in Port Arthur, Texas, and I'm oh. here. Oh, yeah. So I work, sometimes when I'm in the city, I do uh, gigs here. And Saturday nights, man, as a musician, you ain't going to sleep till like, 4. It's not right. like you out right. drinking, partying. It's just that that's the environment. And so I make sure I get up at 6.30, though. To go to my church service. So your daddy right. say nothing about you playing that devil's music. Uh huh. That's you know what? <laughs> I tell my daddy, were you playing Shirley Caesar when I was consumed? Like, were Probably. You play they was playing that Charlie Man and David Man album. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that, I just had to tell my parents stop focusing on what people want you to focus on and just listen to what I'm saying. Ooh, that's cool. That's real. So uh, before you get out of here, I do want to talk to you about something because we talked about you possibly going on tour. Um. And I'm sure you're going to need, you know, some background. Uh -huh, some yes, girl. Anything. So uh, I have a group. Uh, <laughs> and the name of this group is Thick and Nasty. Okay. We can be whatever you want us Thick to be. And I don't know. I don't know what kind of music you're going to be up there singing. The let them come down. <laughs> Thick and Nasty is the name of the group or Save and Sanctified if you want to present us to your family. Uh, we are, me and this guy here are Thick and Nasty, okay? Now, Drew, I need you to talk to her about thinking that. Now, make it good, because she's about to leave. So, okay. we got to, you know. So, Brittany. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. um, you're going on tour, so you're going to need background singers. Uh -huh. Now, the difference between you being background and me being background is, I don't know your music. So, I'm not even going to play the key that you want to sing. I'm going to play my own keys. keys. <laughs> I'm going to play my own key. I'm going to be singing my own lyrics, but it's going to intertwine like very poetry. well. You think that's going to work? Hey, man, if you could do it, like, considering what music is today, yep. Okay. <laughs> It'll work. We're going on tour. So, <laughs> I'm out. Talk to our manager. He's Come right on. next to you. I, I just said uh, y'all going on tour. <laughs> Let's <We> go. <laughs> Any publicity is good publicity. Yes. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. What, what is the name? Skinny. What is it? Thick. Save Thick. and sanctify for you because you're a pastor's child. She's about to call her skinny and save. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Neither one of those. Skinny and save. <laughs> 
Oh, man. It's safe. It's sanctified. We can make it work. We AKA make it work. and nasty. When you, man, when you nasty. yeah. It's, it's, it's been really taking off for me, guys, though. Like, this whole tour situation came out of nowhere. Okay. Like, uh, next week, I had to literally cancel five obligations because I... I've been asked to do a pre-party for the Oscars. Ooh. Got a phone call. I mean, literally, just things have been popping up. We are independent, and literally, me and my manager, man, we're just on the grind every day, That's trying cool. to get our music out. You know, a lot of people say what they're doing, but like, literally, oh my God, I eat and sleep this. I song. love That's it. That's dope. That's Where can everybody find you on social media? It's Brittany Washington. Spell it like Brittany. B-R-I-T. You know, Beyonce tried to spell my name a different way. I just was like, nah. <laughs> She's trying to put two ends in my name. I was like, nah. Because they're they going to be like, that's Brittany. That's yeah, Brittany. Sure. And hey, I could have said Beyonce. You could. Beyonce. Beyonce. Yeah. But it's Beyonce. <laughs> um, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, that was factual, though. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Beyonce. Beyonce. You better Beyonce out of here. <laughs> right. So you guys, can, you can catch me on Instagram, Brittany Washington, B-R-I-T-T-A-N-I, Washington, W-A-S-H-I-N-G-T-O-N. Oh, you don't spell that different? I uh, know. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Washing. My, my mom and dad used to try to be cool, and they used to say that we were washing tons of sin. Away. Uh, <laughs> in your face for that 9 9 2019. <laughs> We're washing tons of sin. Amen. Forever. Uh, you know what? Like next year, when we're going into the beginning of 2020. They're going to ask, what was your favorite part? That's going to be the favorite part of sin. Yes. I put that in my bio. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I didn't. I, I remember that. I remember it. Wow. Uh, yeah. Well, thank and, you so much, Brittany, yes. for stopping by, kicking thank it you. with us. We really enjoyed you. Yeah, you are now family uh, now. So anytime, I'm family? Yeah, yes. so anytime you're in town, you got anything going on, any shows, anything we like to support, so make sure we get our invite. Thank and we you. will be inviting you to our two-year anniversary. Awesome. Year time. This is amazing. Congratulations, guys. Thank, thank, you, thank, you, thank, thank you. you so much. Thanks for having me. I'm, I feel so blessed to be here. And we thank you for coming. So we're going to actually go into your song before awesome. we leave out. So I want you to do the honors of introducing it. Ooh, yes. So this song um, basically came about through my life experiences. Man, like I've had a lot of relationships that failed. And, uh, you know, it, it's a positive vibe. And it basically is saying I'd rather be lonely and live life happy than be with you and be unhappy. Mm. You know? I heard that. So this is my new song. I'd rather be lonely, live life unhappy with you, baby. Can't let you drive me crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you. That was perfect. You're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 Radio Show on 92kills.com.